Hi, welcome to another FSD Beta 9 video. This is a real world trip um, uh, from a restaurant on the way back home. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward the quote unquote boring parts and I will stop every now and then when there is something interesting and I'll give my commentary to that. Let's go. Here we are approaching an intersection where there is quite a funny angle, it's not a 90 degrees T um, cross intersection. The cars are coming at an angle of maybe 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock position. And you can see here the car is creeping, it takes a couple of seconds and then it goes as the um, lane is clear and that was actually quite okay, but also not too challenging because there was no car coming. Here we're starting to do our left turn onto the ramp uh, to the parkway. Watch the yellow lines, the car is actually crossing them. This is something in the past that the car has not done, it would have done quite a wide turn. Now whether this is good or bad is up to everyone's uh, view. My view is it is natural, that's how I would have done it given that there was no other car in the other lane. Um, but yeah, I quite like that, it felt quite natural. Now we're on the ramp to the parkway. I forgot that I had the um, confirmation setting for lane changes, so it took me a couple of seconds to realize that. I hit the, the, the stock and then we merged onto the parkway. Here we're approaching our exit. You can see the car slowing down. I don't know if that is because of the black car in front of us or if it would have done that even without that lead car, but it's actually exactly the right thing to do. This is a very um, tight um, exit and we really have to slow down here. Now I'll let this play out. You will see we come to a stop. We have to merge to um, the, the local road here and you will see the car is showing the message that um, it's waiting for high speed cross traffic that I'm supposed to hit the accelerator. I don't do that, I just wait. I actually haven't even seen that message. The car or one of the car passes and my car wants to go. I can see um, that there is another car coming at maybe 40 miles an hour or so, the white one here. And there's actually a couple of more cars coming. Um, they have to brake now, but they come at probably 40, 45 miles an hour. So definitely, even with uh, quick acceleration, which the current version definitely would not have done, um, probably wouldn't have been a, a good result if the car would have pulled in. So I do this manually and then turn back on the FSD beta. Next we have to switch lanes, you'll see the car starts um, turn on the blinker, it's slowing down and it's waiting for the truck to pass and as soon as the truck has passed we decide to move over. That was quite natural and nicely done. Now we are approaching another intersection here. Actually, actually quite bad visibility to the left. So the car has to creep forward. There is no way it would see. 
there is another car coming, waiting for that one. Once that has passed, it's deciding to move on and starts a turn, and that went pretty, pretty well. Here we have to turn left and the car is slowing down almost to a stop here in the middle of the turn. Not sure if it was because of that other truck that was just turning into the street or not, but definitely um, not something that the car should do. Um, when it starts to turn, it has to turn and not wait in the oncoming lane. I actually forgot to report that one, but there is another scene coming up. I've sent in an email after that. So here we are slowing down, the car seems to think that it has to um, check for traffic, I don't know why, because that was just a light, slight right turn. So I sent that one in and as I mentioned I'll usually also send up a follow up uh, as an email to the team describing what was going on. Next we're approaching a traffic light which um, is red for us and green for the other um, side of the road. We can stop here and then the car for whatever reason you can quickly see the other traffic light lights up green. So I think my car confused that as the signal to go and it went and I had to basically step on the brakes. So that's another disengagement here. And my only, you know, my, my guess is that it was really confusing the traffic lights. So this is an issue of assigning the right traffic light to the right lane. We are giving here the neural net some more food for thought, so to speak. All right, this trip is coming to an end. Thanks a lot for riding along. I hope you enjoyed it and you saw a couple of interesting, uh, interesting things. As always, um, please subscribe, comment if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.